Hey guys, Pie Guy Rules here, and as you know, I grew up in the 90s and early 2000s, so I'm 18 now. I turned 18 a few months ago, and I don't know, ever since I've become 18, I've stepped into more of the role of the adult, and I've had more adult problems and been living more adult life, and I'm about to go off to college to study uh, film and screen to uh, with the hopes of becoming uh, you know, a big wig in television. I, I kind of want to do that for a living, but... Uh, you know, I, I can't be the first one to tell you that shows you watch as a kid, shows you watch anytime, have a deep emotional contact with you, especially if it's something from a long time ago. And try as you might to recreate it by buying them on iTunes or watching the DVDs, there isn't the same feeling as having a specific show or a specific set of shows in a specific time slot on a specific channel for you and your friends to gather around and enjoy and possibly relive memories through these shows. And that's why I've always pushed the importance of blocks. It's it's not so much about having a channel where you randomly air things. It's about having a channel where, look, this is when new episodes air. This is when you should plan on being right here. It's like making plans. It's not just a random occurrence where you're lounging in front of the TV. It's, hey, let's gather all your friends around, watch something. Or it's, hey, you know, this is some stability in your life. This time, this channel, there will be this show. And um, I, I tell you all of this not to uh, not to be somber, but to be happy. Because once again, much like with the 90s or all that, we've made a difference. Toonami is coming back. The whole ordeal was very strange and surreal, but it's definitely back, and it's going to be darker and edgier, which is great for us who wasn't a, weren't a big fan of the censorship back in the day, but that's all right, because we're all grown up now, and we can handle Toonami on Adult Swim. And from what I've seen in the uh, April Fool's Day Toonami uh, airing, if they stick with something like that, it'll be good. It'll be really good. They won't have screwed up Toonami. They, they actually brought back... Um, Tom, I think version 3, it's not the most recent Tom, it's not that god-awful blank version of Tom, it's it's Tom with personality from 2003, it's more robotic Tom, it's, it's, it's snarky, it's, it's, it's just edgy Tom, and, 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 and his, his hologram, uh, Sarah, I think, um, the, he's back, and it's all back, and the whole thing is back, and it's gonna be great. It's going to be just like the 90s or all that. It, it's going to be a nostalgic gasm. It's going to be, you know, being able to watch anime on a specific blog. It, it, it's just, it's also, it's Cartoon Network listening to us, and more specifically, Adult Swim listening to us, which maybe is the genius to Adult Swim. Maybe it's the genius of, hey, look, we got you as kids on Cartoon Network. Now let's grab you over to the dark side of Adult Swim. And while I don't agree with a lot of things that Adult Swim does, I do know that A, it listens to people, and B, it knows how to form blocks. It knows how to program. It, it, it knows how to, you know, put up bumpers that are funny and weird. And it knows how to do viral videos and, and, and make people drawn to it. And while I'm not a huge fan of a lot of its dead baby comedy, I must admit, it knows what it's doing, and this is great. I, I, I am incredibly ecstatic, and I'm sorry I'm keeping the monotone, I just, I don't know, there's something about this that's causing me to become incredibly introspective, and Toonami is just such a good, ah, such a good part of my childhood, um, and, and to do it right, they really should bring back, they should bring back Dragon Ball, or Dragon Ball Z, or... I don't know if they could do that, though, with Dragon Ball Kai belonging to Nicktoons. Is the original Dragon Ball still under copyright for them, maybe? Who knows? But, I mean, it'd be cool, even if they couldn't do Dragon Ball Z, if they just did Dragon Ball, or if they did Dragon Ball GT, you know, or, you know, brought in a bunch of new random anime, like they did with Zatch Bell a while back in One Piece, even though those dubs were pretty bad, at least the one for One Piece was, It'd be cool to see them bringing in some new anime overseas and, and getting me interested. Heck, I uh, I started reading both One Piece and Zatch Bell because of those shows airing. And yes, it got taken over by Naruto. As I said in my last rant, Naruto pretty much killed Toonami for the fact that it, it just dominated Toonami. The fact that it was a Naruto block. But they should also bring back the uh, Cartoon Network action shows like Toonami. 
Teen Titans. And when I say bring back, I just mean air again. I don't mean they have to produce new episodes, although that would also be cool. Uh, Justin Le- Justice League, Justin League, Justice League Unlimited, um, you know, stuff like that. Ah, it's it's going to be great. And the fact that Adult Swim basically listened to us when after their big April Fool's Day prank of putting on Toonami, that was their April Fool's Day prank. They're going to do the room like they always do. But instead, they were like, hey, look, this is Toonami. And then uh, it said uh, Adult Swim went on and was like, you want more? You know, let us know by feedback. And the Twitter response was overwhelming. Once again, it was us that did this. We made the difference. I never actually got around to talking about Toonami ending, but when I last talked about it, it was on a downward strike. And all this nostalgia that's been garnering on the internet, all of this is amazing for so many reasons because we're getting what we want, one, and two, it's opening up the floodgates for channels and companies to realize, listen to fans. You you know, you have Twitter, you have instant access to a bunch of user feedback. You should be using it. And it's just great. It is amazing. And, um, you know, I hope this sort of thing continues. Like I said, Nickelodeon did this. Now Cartoon Network's doing this. Maybe Disney Channel can do this. If so, that would be phenomenal um also uh, not to be um you know it was kind of overshadowed by the tsunami thing but the cartoon network also brought back cartoon planet um which is airing a mixture of mostly cartoon cartoons but some post cartoon cartoon era cartoons from cartoon network that was a lot of use of the word cartoon uh like foster's home for imaginary friends um but they've also got you know obviously dexter's lab and and, and the like and uh, that's also good. I'm not. I'm not a huge fan of the block itself. The comedy is a little bit fried dynamite ish and randomy, but it's it's all right. It's got it doesn't have space ghosts, but it's got his two sidekick villain guys. Um, I don't know their names. I don't remember their names. But yeah, they're there, and it's a block on Friday nights. Hey, look, they got the night right finally. But uh, but yeah, so. That this is another outlet that Cartoon Network's getting out their old shows, and even though it's not, like I said, the perfect block, it's it's got time to change. There's only been one airing as of when I've commented on this, um, you know. So hey, it's a start, and it's just amazing to see all around. And yeah, so go enjoy it. Uh, the Cartoon Planet is on Friday nights, and Toonami, we don't know when it'll be back yet, but Adult Swim has confirmed it will be back. It blaze twitter with uh bring back tsunami hashtag or hashtag bring back tsunami it blazed them for like a whole weekend uh yeah so it's coming back stay tuned for more news uh yeah pie guy rules out <laughs>